Satya. Respected Chief Minister, and respected my old friends, and I always describe uh, respected the elder brothers and sisters and the younger brothers and sisters. I have certain reason to describe brothers and sisters. Uh, that is Actually, seven billion human beings on this planet, the same human being, the way born, way die, same. And while we are alive, everybody uh, want happy life, do not want suffering. So everybody have the right to be happy human being. So therefore, uh, we really need a sense of oneness of seven billion human being. Uh, a lot of today's problem we are facing, uh, including within the country, as already Chief Minister and other already mentioned, these fundamentally lack of sense of oneness of a human being. If we consider the rest of the humanity, human being as a true brother, sisters, then no basis is it to divide uh, and bully, uh, cheating, exploiting. So now time come. We have to work to promote sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. So that's, therefore, I always uh, start my talk uh, called Brothers and Sisters. Now, uh, I really uh, feel great honor to participate this very, I think, a meaningful Kasoda meeting. Uh, they reminds us the the one of I think the great great human being on 20th century, Dr. Amberka. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, now, I am not going to state more detail. You already mentioned. Uh, firstly, I think he a uh, great lawyer, an economist, and a uh, social, sociologist. I think he really uh, has to make, I think, certain sort of ideas, certain views to open millions of people's eye. That's very important. Uh, now I am now going to tell something. He, I think, I think almost the person who bring revival of ancient one of India's religion, that is Buddha Dharma. Uh, so, Buddha Dharma is India's religion, India's Dharma. Almost whole Asia, uh, basically, historically, Buddhist country. So Buddhism in these different country not grow within their own country, but come from India. <laughs> so look 
uh, I think the last, I think almost, I think 2,000 years, uh, I think India's message, that is Buddha Dharma, reach whole Asia. Uh, then, I'm quite sure, I think Buddha Dharma, like any other religion, main message is message of Karuna. And with that, message of Ahimsa. I think really brought inner peace, happy society. So, uh, the ancient India's message, Buddha Dharma, I think truly uh, helped immensely to, I think, billions of people uh, through centuries. Then, within Buddha Dharma, uh, Pali tradition and Sanskrit tradition. Pali tradition, Buddha, according to some Sanskrit sort of sutra, it mentioned Buddha, you say, give three uh, dharma wheel, we call dharma wheel. First the dharma wheel at Sanat. So there he uh, mentioned or, or taught, right? taught the Four Noble Truth. And then 16, correct? 16 aspects of the Four Noble Truths. Uh, with that, 37 practice. Uh, that is common. Sanskrit tradition, Pali tradition, same. Uh, then, Second Dharma wheel at Rajagri. Rajagri. So mainly uh, Panjaparamita Sutra. Now there, actually he uh, elaborate uh, uh, the third. Uh, third noble truth, thus two succession, Niruda. And the path to achieve that, uh, the wisdom which understand Anathma theory. So in Prattimur, the Kasa, Prajaparamita Sutra extensively explain, usually we call uh, Shinyata. And the way to explain shunyata, not nothingness, but everything, you see, everything exists entirely depend on other factor, not by itself, not independently. Now quantum physics also, you see, uh, develop, you see, more or less same view, things, you see, external things uh, does not exist by objectively. But their existence very much depends on observers. So that we call Patit Samuband. That's Sanskrit traditions. I think extensively explain these things. Uh, then I think one famous, I think, Buddhist teaching. He taught, uh, he taught us, uh, all my followers, monks, scholars, should not accept my teaching out of faith, out of devotion, but rather thorough investigation. That's quite something unique. Therefore, many masters 
of the Buddhist follower. Like Nagarjuna, Arya Asanga, and Arya Deva, and Buddha Palita, uh, and Chandakirti, and Shantadeva. These, uh, these master, even if it's some Buddha's own teaching, some text, they reject. If you accept such such Buddha's teaching, literally, it goes against reason. Therefore, I said they took the liberty to reject Buddha's own teaching. As the Buddha taught, according to the audience, uh, certain their mental disposition. Therefore, he taught different philosophical views out of his infinite love and wisdom, judging audience mental disposition. He taught different philosophical views. So mainly within the Buddha Dharma, the Vibhasek uh, school of thought, the Sothantik school of thought, Chitta Mantra school of thought, then, then Madhimika school of thought. So all come from same teacher, Buddha Shakyamuni. So therefore, you see, in philosophical field, there are differences, even within the Buddha Dharma. So this very helpful, you see, to learn all oh, humanity. There are so many different mental dispositions. Therefore, we need different sort of philosophical views. So all major world religious tradition. I usually used to make, uh, how to say, the three aspects. Number one aspect of all major religious tradition, religion, aspect of religion, dharma. Here, all carry teaching of karuna, compassion, love, forgiveness, tolerance, contentment, self-discipline. All major religious tradition carry the same message. So all major world religious tradition have same potential to serve, to help humanity. We can see wonderful people come from these different traditions. Really dedicated people, like uh, such as late Mother Teresa, wonderful. Because of their faith, their tradition, carry teaching, practice of love, and serving other people. The second aspect of this uh, tradition, uh, philosophy. Now there is big differences. As I mentioned earlier, even within the Buddha Dharma, there are different sort of school of thought. So basically, the theistic religion, you see, whose main faith is creator. Then ancient one of the branch of uh, Sankhyaism and Jainism and Buddhism, no such idea, no creator, rather self-creation. So there's big differences, but doesn't matter. Purpose of these different philosophy, same, is it to bring firm conviction about love, about compassion. So the theistic religion, the very reason the concept of creator is, we, everyone created by uh, such creator. So the very nature of that creator is infinite love. So according to the theistic religion, I think as far as I know, most of the theistic religion, just one life. This very life created by a uh, creator, which is infinite love. So creator, God, like our father, 
we all seven billion human being all children of that infinite love that brings as a strong sort of city as of the will oh i must be compassionate child of god wonderful very helpful uh, so all these uh, and then uh, those non theistic way non theistic religion no god <laughs> no creator but ourselves are the creator so everything depend on one's own shoulder as a buddha said it tumnum di buddhisla da tumnum di bu chi mi rishya so di the buddha said that uh, the sages or the buddhas do not wash away the sins of sentient beings uh, no do they uh, remove the suffering of sentient beings and no do they uh, shift their own realizations into others but only by teaching the truth do they lead sentient beings to liberation so therefore is it buddha in a way is it all responsibility put on our own shoulder <laughs> so that is a concept of philosophy i mean that concept come philosophy law of causality cause and effect cause and effect so the concept of karma the all our sort of experience you see due to our own karma so if you create good karma you get benefit if you create a uh, negative karma or oh, you have to face consequences so that way of approach uh, uh, to some people very very effective uh, so now uh, positive karma or negative karma no absolute karma or karma therefore uh, according the because uh, according the because of the uh the situation any action which brings happiness to other that's good karma any action to bring uncomfortable other that's a negative karma so the uh, foundation of demarcation good and bad is must be related with our experiences because we want a happy life happiness joyful nobody ins- including insect do not want suffering or pain so any action causing pain is negative any action causing happiness that is positive so good karma bad karma judging on that basis so so that's very good that kind of teaching you are your own master so you should be more compassionate don't harm other uh, if possible serve other serve help them if not at least resist in harming other so that's those non theistic religious sort of cause sort of the wave approach so very good so to some people that wave approach is more effective to some people the concept of creator is more effective so therefore there are different philosophical views philosophy itself contradiction each other but same purpose so no problem so therefore uh, religious harmony is very very uh, possible all mythical religious tradition same message message of love and use in different philosophy same goal so no no problem i am buddhist buddhist monk and i am student of nalanda masters uh, so i learned all those sort of serious argument between buddhist master and non buddhist master so as a student so i know you see these things uh, but then judging uh, the i said the main message religious site you see all same so i genuinely sincerely respect 
all major institutions. Then third aspect, that is culture or certain habit. That <coughs> I do not consider the teaching of religion. That's mainly influenced by social habit, social system. Now the 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 subject I said the social justice. Oh social justice. Social justice. Now the what what do you call uh, low caste Dalit or something. Oh now that I don't think come from uh, true the real religion. Religion is a teaching us practice of love. Some discrimination, that's, I think, influenced from this existing society system. That is feudal system. The feudal system, you see some uh, lead, uh, and lead, uh, and lead people, you see, they justify to exploit <laughs> workers. So they use, they have certain sort of privilege. Uh, due to their own karma or due to some sort of God's thing. So the poor people, due to their karma or due to some God's sort of plan, you see, they, as a worker. So, the today's world, democratic sort of society, even though some country uh, don't uh, fully practice or implement democracy, but the future of the humanity is democracy. No other way. So they, they, kasa chukti, kasa chuk chuk sa na feudal system, that gone. So, so, in the habit or, or in, in uh, some kind of cultural aspect, you see, uh, some discrimination and male and female, uh, and. In this country, I think, unfortunately, the caste system, as you already mentioned, as Dr. America made, I think, serious effort, I think, low caste. Still, I think, in some area, the well, well, uh, which the upper caste use that water, the low caste uh, cannot drink. How? India, religious minded nation, a cultured people, cultured nation. I think out of three civil civilization, ancient civilization, uh, Egyptian civilization, Chinese civilization, uh, Central Valley, sorry. Indus Valley. Indus Valley civilization. The original India civilization, you see the Indus, Indus, Valley. Indus Valley civilization. Among these three civilizations, I think Indus Valley civilization, I think produced most profound thinkers, philosophers. <laughs> Wonderful. So India, I always is now, uh, talking, uh, I'm messenger of ancient Indian thought. Because all our knowledge and practice come from India. Not come from Tibetan snow mountains. <laughs> all knowledge come from Indian plain. <laughs> One Tibetan master, I think 14th century, he mentioned, he expressed, till light of India reached Tibet, in spite land of snow, still dark. Only after light of India reached Tibet, then Tibet became bright. So all our knowledge come from India. So I always uh, describing, you Indian, 
historically, our guru, we are jealous. Uh, but I am quite proudly to say we are not only jealous of ancient Indian master, but we also quite reliable jealous. So all this knowledge of ancient Indian scholars, professors, we kept over a thousand years uh, to rigorous study, not just a puja, not just a prayer, but rigorously study. The root text memorized by heart. Myself, age eight, seven, eight years old, I already started to memorize some of these root texts. So therefore, through that way, we kept this knowledge over a thousand years. So, it is quite a sufficient reason to say we are quite a reliable teller of ancient Indian masters. Okay. So then, me personally, uh, I so now consider as a son of India, reason, every part of my brain, brain cell, is filled, filled by knowledge and thought. And then this physical is survived by Indian dolls, Indian rice. Over now, uh, 57, 58 years. So I'm son of India. So therefore, when I sort of get immense sort of the value, help from ancient Indian tradition, Indian thought, therefore now I really serious concern. Your ancient sort of knowledge, ancient sort of the knowledge, knowledge now must revive in this country. So ancient Indian knowledge, not only ancient one, but also very relevant to today's world. So India, only India can do combination, modern education, modern technology, because of modern technology, and the modern economy, plus knowledge about inner peace, how to tackle our emotion, how to bring inner peace, uh, optimism, self-confidence. These are ancient Indian knowledge. Uh, you can combine these two. Then modern education, modern technology, these provide us physical comfort. The ancient Indian knowledge provides us mental comfort. So firstly, within the country, uh, you should pay more attention. Then this caste system or all this backwardness eventually through education will change. Uh, India's constitution, wonderful constitution, but constitution uh, remain there. But change must take place in public mind, through education, through awareness. One time I was in Soweto, in South Africa. I visited one African family, black African. I told them, the constitution, now you already have democratic constitution, but emotional level, it takes time. You must develop self-confidence. Uh, equality, uh, and can do the equal way white people because of that, do. Right. So then, one Indian, no, one native sort of African, he actually, one teacher of one school, he said, respond to me, oh, we cannot be equal. We, black African, our brain is inferior. We cannot compete with the white people. 
that moment, I really felt very sad. If mental level, that kind of thinking remained there, then the Constitution bring equality cannot work. So then I argue with him, no. If we together go to one brain specialist, doctor or scientist, uh, ask any differences brain due to color, our scientists definitely say no, 100% same brain. Then I argue, argue with that person uh, and also explain about our own case in t Tibetan, inside Tibet. Uh, some narrow-minded Chinese, you see, uh, they, 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 because of that, they express Tibetan brain is backward. Uh, only question of opportunity. When we have the opportunity, we can be same because of that level. So through education, you see, bring the certain sort of emotionally or some kind of inferior feeling that can change through education. So therefore, the Dalit, Dalit or the low class sort of that, because of that, people must develop self-confidence. Many occasions, when I give some talk to follow of Dr. America, I always emphasize uh, they should develop self-confidence, work hard, uh, and through education, various sort of different fields. Different fields. So through education, you should be equal. I always see uh, mentioning. So therefore, uh, cultural aspect, there are some drawbacks that not from religious teaching, but from because so, of the social society or feudal system. Now that must change. Feudal system, no future. So my own case, uh, at least last four, uh, four centuries, Dalai Lama institution automatically become head of both temporal and spirituality. Uh, that I think because, you see, uh, some Lama institution, you see, consider something important. Uh, so since fifth Dalai Lama, this institution become head of both. So that outdated. So 2011, I totally retired. Not only myself retired, but also four century old tradition, Dalai Lama institution become automatically head of both temple and spirituality. Now that voluntarily, proudly, happily cease. So that's one example. Uh, even in the name of religion, religious institution, some because of feudal system sort of some influence, some impact, that we must change, we must stop. So therefore, the caste system is actually is a bad habit and exploited the instrument of exploitation uh, by the landlord, the feudal system. So please, you should develop self-confidence. We are same human being. We have same right. We have same potential uh, to become equal, even better. <laughs> so that's very important. That's very important. So that I so therefore uh, now I think the Buddha Dharma, particularly the knowledge tradition. Uh, some Western scholar they say. Buddhism, particularly the Sanskrit tradition, is not a religion, but science of mind. There's some, some sort of some truth. So, last 30 years, I have serious sort of discussion with scientists, mainly four fields, uh, cosmology, neurobiology, uh, physics, particularly quantum physics, and then 
psychology. So after 30 years, uh, it becomes very clear it's mutual learning. Many scientists now really showing interest uh, or they find very useful information from ancient Indian psychology. So like that. So therefore, I think a knowledge tradition, because the emphasis on reason, experiment, therefore, we can go side by side with modern science. So therefore, the now science, modern science, I think generally every people convince scientific finding. It proves. So among different tradition, religious tradition, I think knowledge tradition can go side by side uh, and with mutual sort of help. Uh, mutually sort of benefit like that. So sometimes I really feel quite proud. I'm a student of knowledge tradition. So, uh, you see, have certain sort of uh, self-confidence, talking, discuss with scientists. If our faith, just a faith, uh, not experiment, not sort of use a logical approach, then sometimes it's difficult. So these, all these are your treasure, your tradition. Now, uh, please pay more attention about your own thousand year old, your own uh, uh, tradition. Uh, India, Indian, you should think all those Buddhist country, from where Buddhism come? From this country. <laughs> so, so you should feel proud uh, in, the, in ancient time. India's message, oh, uh, cover whole Asia. Now modern time, 21st century, number of scientists also now showing genuine interest, genuine respect. So these are your tradition, not a Tibetan tradition, but your tradition. <laughs> so I want to share these sort of, sort of my own experience and my view. So you are master we are Chela. So it is Chela's responsible to make report to Guru. Thank you.